Okay, folks, welcome back. It's uh, it's a new new run. We're gonna keep on going and seeing if we can go ahead and clear some more stuff because you know people and stuff and things. So last where we left off, we were in a abandoned cell. So huge pork collies blocks the hall. It's impervious to our efforts. I didn't want to go in here. Flesh golems are posted with instructions to destroy anything that enters. You see a wooden lever in the far wall. Large wooden lever is mounted on the wall here. Pull it. Yes. You hear another poor collie's raising nearby. Excellent. Pack of werewolves raises tusks and charges. Large group of guards are stationed in front of the next row of cells. Hmm. Okay, so fix that. Snarling where tigers run towards you. Okay, so we got those guys. The bloody and broken form of Savas Asmore lays on the floor of this cell. He raises his head weakly, and his voice is hardly more than a whisper. This is recorded as Journal Entry 54. 54. Let you listen to the sad music. Did I go right past the Journal Entries? I think I did. Nope, it didn't. 
do do 54. Save us his last words. My friends, do you have the rod of omniscience? You show it to him, and he lowers his head in relief. Then my suffering hasn't been in vain. Listen closely. I must tell you, he breaks off his pain, washes over him. His mutilated fingers clenches un and unclenches. He collects himself. Long ago, when I worked for Soth, he sent me to recover the rod of omniscience. After searching faithfully for many years, I finally found it. When I touched the rod and felt its power, I knew I must protect it from Soth at all costs. I hoped I'd find a strong and honest group of adventurers who could be trusted with the rod. A group like yourselves. His voice grows fainter. I would have escaped if Kitiara hadn't caught me. That woman is power-hungry and wants the rod for her own purposes. She's kind and will do anything to get what she wants. Beware of her. His speech has drained the rest of Sabus's strength. His eyes cloud over and he dies peacefully. Requiem in Terra Pax, Sabus. Your uh, efforts may have saved the world from Soth. Okay, so a pack of werebores raises tusks and charges. dominated by an ancient huge magical tome. It's displayed open and an incantation has been circled. Read the incantation? Yes. Magic builds in the air then dissipates weakly. Yes. Let's see if we can get uh, Terracroy to read that instead. Yes. Dissipates weekly. Cleric's empty bedroom. Okay. So, looks like there's something crazy up here. Uh, doot. A group of prisoners are being held here again by brutal guards. Behind them, priests chant a complicated spell. Will we attack? You rush forward before you can interfere. The gang evocation is finished. Prisoners scream in anger as all but a few are transformed into rats. Their captors laugh and attack. Oh, well, Tara ain't gonna stand for that because she's gonna do one of these. Okay, that would hit the party. That should not. Yeah, same trash to your shit. The prisoners not transformed cluster around you. Prisoners not trans. Uh, they rejoice at the news of being saved. They beg you to now find a counter spell to restore their transformed friends. Pack of warrior boys.
Magic builds in the air as you read the incantation. The rats in the room writhe and suddenly transform to humans. You reverse the spell. Thank you. They rush for the nearest exit. Rotting vampires. And... So something is concealed under a pile of linen in the corner. We look closer. Yes. Cache of magical items. Take red magic user scroll, wand, a potion, and a necklace. Alright. She is overburdened. He isn't. Oof. We are drained again. So um, yeah, you can stay with me as I do this. I'm gonna run back and get our shit fixed back up. That's a cleric. You see the torture chamber, now there's a few dead people are lying in the corner. Storm's body is displayed on an altar in the temple, surrounded by chanting priests. Your presence interrupts their spell, and their leader turns to you. Fools, you are no match for the forces here. Soon the body of Storm Bravery will fight for us, and now your bodies will join our armies as well. You mirror Storm's body from the altar and return to the waiting clerics. They carefully wrap the body on a white shroud. One cleric turns to you. A great, you've achieved a great deed this day. 
Stormbreak Blade was one of their greatest, our greatest heroes. He's become a symbol of the Oath of Measure. To think that his body was almost twisted to evil purses was beyond horrifying. You, hear, you are heroes beyond measure. They bear it away, beginning the long journey back to the High Clarus Tower. Okay. So... Where are we at? 15 minutes. Well, right now we're going to take a quick run back to the town and try and get... Did I save? Sugar. Counters. Boop, 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 boop. Previous. It's eighth word. When a party comes across monsters of NPCs. We're going to run back to town and uh, restore everybody because that hurt like hell. Pack werebores. Go quick. Yes. No. <laughs> now we gotta look and get back to... Okay. back to town here. Flee. Enter. Try the moons. Yes. Heal. Restore. Ooh, nice. Got the got up to 103 that time. Restore. Friggin' level drain. Heal. Restore. No. Okay. Don't need it. Restore, don't need it. Heal, restore, don't need it. And heal, restore, don't need it. Exit. Yep. Train, what's he gonna be, like an 18th level thief? Holy hell. 11th level knight, nice. The level range. Well, to be fair, I did uh, kick up everybody to a new level and it caused things to go a little bit wonky or sorry no Sir Vorg is a knight of the rose now so he gets more clerical spells but it also throws him into a much higher uh, experience range fix move not going to mess with this town to try and find the right shop. Flee. Flee. Yeah, crap. Delay. Delay. Turn. Nope. That was an easy 2,000 experience. And some gems. Nope. Not yet. Yes. Now, there was a shop here somewhere. Uh, sure. That was random.
Okay, real quick check to see if we can actually have, if, where are we? We are in Cerberus. Is there a shop? Oh, there isn't a shop in Cerberus. Explains that. So, I run. Yes. Gonna run our happy asses to another town. Flee. Is the town under siege? Oh, no. Yes. Pool. View items. Okay, your items are all good. You items? Maybe yes. I guess. Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Keep that bad boy. Keep that bad boy. Yeah, we'll keep that. Trade that to Quadrant, I guess. Exit. Exit. Items. No. Ready. Ready. IDS, IDS. Trade this to Pykel. Is he wearing plate mail? Banded mail. Arm cost negative one. Arm cost negative one. Okay. Fair enough. View items. So all kind of light, all kind of spells in that. Uh, let's sell, yes. Okay. And view items. <laughs> One dark plus three. Okay. So, who do we actually have that has inventory space? Nobody. Well, we don't have red magic user. Trade to Terracor? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Slade, you're going to be our monkey for uh, share. Exit. Yep. Money. 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 <laughs> Good day. Yes. Okay, folks. Let's do a quick time check. Where are we? 23 minutes. Uh, that should be enough time to watch me get back to where we need to be and have to fight 16. Oof. Sixteen random encounters. Okay, getting back to it.
Okay, let's see if we can fix. Okay. And quick time check. 27 minutes. We'll call it here and then we will do the third and final floor of this dungeon. Whew. It's, uh, it's been getting getting kind of hard with the uh, level drains all the time. Then again, I can always just run back and restore for free. So, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.